Hello and welcome to this video where I talk about BGP again. I'm Wolfgang Tremmel and I run the DKIX Academy. So BGP advanced concepts today and I'm going to talk about the idea how to use less IP version 4. But we still do have IP version 4 in our networks and we need to transport it. And we need to transport it across Ethernet networks. And today I'm going to talk how to transport IP version 4 traffic over an Ethernet without that Ethernet having IPv4 configured. And I'm talking to, uh, in this in the context of BGP border gateway protocol. So announcing IP version 4 prefixes via an IPv6 only network. I'm using an Ethernet ex as an example, but it doesn't really matter if it's an Ethernet or a point to point link or whatever. So what's the idea? What's the motivation behind that? Why do we need IP addresses on our transit network. Let's have a look how a standard BGP announcement works. We have here our network with a couple of routers connected. Well, like a standard peering network at the kicks. And usually these networks, these peering networks, they have both. They have IPv4 and do they and they have IPv6 prefixes configured on the network and each router has an IPv4 address and has an IPv6 address. When you announce a prefix, like here it is IPv4 prefix, I'm announcing it with my AS pass and also with my own address as a so-called next hub address. And this next hub address, that's the important part for today. So what do we need this next hop address for? And this is for other routers to send me traffic. So the router receives the BGP announcement, the prefix, and wants to send traffic to one of the hosts in this prefix, and it doesn't know where to send it to. And he gets it from its BGP table, he gets the next hub address, so he knows the next hub address is 198.51.100.1. So this is where the traffic needs to go. So what next thing the router does, he uses an ARP request to get the Ethernet address of that host. And like we know in IPv4, ARP is used during broadcast. So he broadcasts an app request and wants to know what's the MAC address of this host. This host answers and sends out its MAC address. So now the router knows where to send traffic. But do we really need IPv4 for that? No, we don't. The concept of that is more than 10 years old. More than 10 years ago, an RFC was published how to do that with IPv6 only. So here we have the same BGP announcement of an IPv4 network and we're sending out a next hop address as an IPv6 address. And what happens? The router who wants to send traffic sees, oh, I have an IPv6 address as a next hop, so I do not do an ARP address resolution protocol, I'm doing a neighbor discovery. So that's the IPv6 part, how to find out a MAC address. And if you have watched my video, how all this neighbor discovery works, you know that it, it's not broadcasted, it's multicasted. So less traffic on the LAN and he asks for what's the MAC address of this IPv6 address. And like before, this host answers, sends out the MAC address. So the traffic sender now, know, now knows where to send traffic to. And that's so easy. It really, you do not need IPv4 to send out IPv4 traffic. But how to configure it on my router? Let's have a look at BGP. 
Well, BGP, the configuration on how to configure transport and what is announced are two different things. Here you see a typical neighbor statement in a Cisco router. And the neighbor, that's the IP address where I'm announcing prefixes to. It doesn't say what I'm announcing. It just says, this is a BGP neighbor, set up a BGP session to this address. And here in this case, we have an IPv6 address. Then we do have so-called address family statements. And this is what it's being announced over this session to this neighbor. And here in this case, we already have two address families. So we are announcing both IPv4 unicast and IPv6 unicast. And this is the standard. So I'm using IPv6 to announce IPv6. This is how I control my IPv6 announcements. And this is how I'm announcing IPv4 prefixes over an IPv6 session. And the important part here is that you put in this next hop self. This takes care that the next hop address, which is being announced, is the IPv6 address of that router. If you leave it out, the router announces it with an IPv4 address as a next hop. And well, we might not have IPv4 addresses on that LAN. So this is the important part how to configure it on Cisco. So conclusion, what I was I'm talking about? In BGP, the next hop address is needed for router to find out the layer two MAC address to send traffic to. That's clear, otherwise you cannot send traffic. And usually standard configuration, best practice actually, is for IPv4 to use an IPv4 next hub address and for IPv6 use an IPv6 next hub address. That's the standard config. In RFC 5549, it was first defined that the next hub address and the prefix type can be independent of each other. So you can announce an IPv4 prefix with an IPv6 next hub address. And uh, with that, IPv4 traffic can be transported across either a peering LAN or a transit network or a point to point link where there is no IPv4 configured, just using an IPv6 next hub address. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Wolfgang Tremmel from the DKIX Academy. Thank you and bye bye.